Hello everyone, the seekers of knowledge. Welcome to, the gardening, which is a way of showing that you believe in tomorrow. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned gardener, join our green community, where we share some tips that will help you to cultivate your passion for gardening. Today, we will discuss about, the most popular and beautiful snake plant. It is an evergreen flowering perennial plant found in West Africa scientifically known as Dracaena trifascia that belongs to Asparagaceae family. And most interestingly, it is called mother-in-law's tongue. Now, let's see the appearance of snake plant. Here is the distinctive and attractive appearance of the snake plant. It has a rhizomatous root system, which helps the plant to tolerate periods of drought. Their leaves are flat, sword-shaped have a leathery texture and are usually dark green with variegated patterns. It produces small, tubular, greenish-white flowers on a long stalk. Flowering is relatively rare and snake plant has no stem. Why it is called snake plant? The look of its leaves is the origin of its common name which resembles the skin of snake. Now, we will discuss about the different varieties of snake plant that have various colors, shapes, and sizes. It has several varieties with unique leaf patterns, colors, and growth habits. Let's discuss one by one. Number 1 Whitney, it is small plant with 4 to 6 rosettes. Dot its leaves are thick and stiff with white spotted borders. Number 2 Black Coral, is a unique variety of snake plant with upright, succulent, sword-shaped foliage. Number 3 White Owl, it has rich, shiny, dark green spear-shaped foliage that is surrounded by creamy whitish-yellow variegation. Number 4, Futura Superba, it is a striking snake plant featuring wide, sword-shaped, succulent foliage with green, striped centers and yellow edges. Number 5, Zelancia, its foliage is stiff and broad, standing upright, and is characterized by dark green color with white and yellow stripes. Number 6, well-known variety of snake plant is Laurentiae, it has a tall, upright form with glowing yellow stripes along strappy, bright green leaves. Number 6, the most unique variety of the snake plant is whale fin. It is a semi-succulent plant known for its striking and paddle-like leaves. Let's see, how to propagate a snake plant. The propagation of snake plant is a common practice among plant enthusiasts and gardeners. There are different methods, propagation in water, Propagation in soil, pr propagation by division, propagation from rhizome. Let's discuss all these four methods one by one. Number one, propagation in water. To propagate a snake plant in water, cut healthy leaf sections, let them dry, place them in a container of room temperature water, wait for root growth, then transplant them into pots with well draining soil. Number two, propagation in soil. To propagate a snake plant in soil, select a healthy leaf or leaf cuttings. Plant them in well-draining soil, burying them at the same depth as they were in the original plant. Number 3, Propagation by Division, select a mature plant, separate healthy rhizomes with leaves, plant them in fresh soil, and provide care for their growth to establish new plants. Number 4, Propagation by Rhizome, select a mature plant, separate healthy rhizomes with leaves, plant them in fresh soil, and provide care for their growth. It is important to know that. How to care snake plant? We'll explore the simple yet effective steps to ensure your snake plant thrives, from choosing the right location to maintaining its health with minimal effort. These are the tips for caring snake plant. Let's discuss them one by one. Number 1. Light. Snake plants thrive in a variety of light conditions, from low to bright indirect light. They can tolerate low light but grow best in moderate to bright indirect sunlight. Number 2. Watering. Allow the top inch or two of the soil to dry before watering. Water sparingly, especially during the winter months. Number 3. Temperature. They prefer temperatures between 70 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. They can tolerate occasional drops in temperature but should be protected from frost. Number 4. Soil. Use a well-draining potting mix. A cactus or succulent mix works well for snake plants. Number 5. Fertilizers. Fertilize sparingly, typically once every two to three months during the growing season, spring and summer, with a balanced, diluted liquid fertilizer. Number 6. Pruning. 
it is usually not required for snake plants. However, you can trim any damaged or yellowing leaves at the base with clean scissors or pruning shears. Here are some benefits FO snake plants, let's see. It is an ornamental evergreen plant for your house and office with attractive and beautiful colors. It requires less care as compared to other plants. It is climate-friendly plant, which cleans the air from organic chemical fumes. Snake plants contain a substance called aloin which is present in leaves used for medicinal purposes. Most of the medicinal compounds and fibers have been extracted for human and animal use. The question rose that, is snake plant toxic or not? Yes, all parts of the snake plant are toxic due to the presence of chemicals called saponins. Here are some toxic effects of snake plant. It causes nausea, severe headache, and vomiting. Their leaves contain a poison that can cause swelling and produce allergic effects. Besides humans, is snake plant toxic for animals or not? They cause hypersalivation, dilated pupils, and gastrointestinal distress in dogs. Saponins causes severe illness in cats. What to do if you get toxic effect by snake plant? Seek medical attention if you ingest snake plant. Do not induce vomiting unless instructed to do so by a medical professional. Rinse the mouth with water to remove any remaining plant material. Follow these tips to prevent yourself from toxicity. Thanks for watching video. Subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for watching latest videos.